Hello, this is a fun tech tip. I'm going to play a few bars again of China Doll. Now that vocal stutter cut up is uh, something that you could do with lots of different tools and um, techniques. But there is a fun one that not a lot of people know about and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, we need to create a new instrument track, like so. And I'm going to choose, which one am I going to choose? Ultra Beat. I bet some of you were not expecting that. It's well known as a drum synthesizer and sequencer in Logic, but it has a setting in drum kits called drag and drop samples. And using this little dialogue window here, and the step sequencer here, you can create some really fun stuff with vocal samples. So I'm going to go back to just some beats in the track. Okay, and I'm going to open up my Apple Loops, and you'll see that I've landed already on this Darcy Lyric 01. Let's play it. Darcy. Now, the reason that I've chosen that as opposed to maybe some of the other options is that there's lots of different sounds in it. Anything with a real vocal, uh, words, syllables, etc., tends to work better for this. This will work because she's saying, ooh, ah, baby, different sounds, different syllables, different formats. Now, you literally can just pull, drag and drop the sample into this window and you'll see it appear here. Now, If I expand the ultra beat, you might start to get a sense of where this is going. You can set an in and an out point for your sample start. And it says sample start via velocity. So if I turn the sequencer on here, and let's say activate a number of steps, I'm going to activate eight steps. I'm going to change the length of the sequence to eight steps. And let me just play it on its own. So we've got a sequence, but it doesn't sound all that interesting. So what happens if I start to change the velocity of the steps? I'm just going to do different velocities for each step. It's now playing a different point in the sample between the minimum and the maximum according to the velocity of the, uh, of the sample step. If I was to disengage all of them apart from number three and then I move the velocity It's finding a different point between that min and that max. If I was to put maybe the whole first sequence. In fact, let's go for the whole. Let's give it the whole thing. You'll see by having it at a low point, it's playing somewhere around here. If I put it at a very high point, not quite that high, it's playing something towards the end. So let's plot in those points again. And let's play it against the drums again. It sounds pretty good, but we can add some swing and maybe take some steps out.
You can also change the how tight the sample is by putting a gate by moving it left to right. And then you can also use all of the filtering and pitching and envelope controls within Ultrabeat as well. So. And then, for example, you could add some delay, just any kind of effect, really. And Ultra Beat also allows you to drag and drop the sequence that you've created by highlighting this little grid next to the pattern button. I pull it into the arrange. I can then turn the sequencer off. And by double clicking in there, you'll see that it's given me the actual pattern that I was playing in the sequence, in the step sequencer. So, a little known but very, very useful way to cut vocals up using Logic's Ultra Beat drum synthesizer. Have fun! Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.